Hi, I'm Judson Wright from Kootenay Backcountry Guides. I'm an ACMG ski guide and member of the Canadian Avalanche Association. Today I'm up here with Backcountry Skiing Canada and we're at Whitewater Ski Resort just outside of beautiful Nelson, British Columbia. Today we're going to talk about Shovels 101, what to know and look for in a good shovel. Okay, so first thing I gotta say about shovels is the purpose of a shovel in backcountry skiing is to move snow. Whether you're digging a snow profile or trying to find your friend buried under the snow, the purpose of the shovel is to move snow. If your mindset going into your shovel purchase is lightweight and small, is that purpose going to be served in the event of an accident? I don't think so. So you want to be thinking, does this shovel effectively move snow? Because you might be digging out your friend, a loved one from the snow, and you do not want to be thinking, oh man, this shovel is too lightweight, improperly made, I cheaped out on it, bought it at a garage sale, whatever. You do not want to live with that. So purchase a good shovel meant to move snow. So what are those shovels and what to look for? So. The first shovel we have that can be purchased at a garage sale is this. This tiny little shovel is totally useless. You do not want this shovel. You throw it out. Next up, we have our giant snow shovel. Great for shoveling your driveway. Terrible for backcountry skiing. We don't want to go sh skiing with this shovel. Useless. Out of here. Next up, we found at a garage sale this old shovel that was made in 1999. This is actually the first shovel I ever had. It's uh, got a lot of issues with it. The main one is that it's totally loose now. And if you look, this part here isn't centered, so it's not welded. And these shovels broke here. Okay, the next thing is it's got this weird stuff in it. A lot of the older shovels, some of the new ones have, it's like it's got a saw. These saws weren't that great. Look at how flimsy this saw is. Kind of a gimmick. What's the point? I don't know. So these old shovels that are just like this, maybe it's the right size, maybe the weight's okay, but durability and function wise, this shovel, not so great. Gone. Next up. We have this lightweight shovel, super lightweight. I'm not going to knock on the manufacturer here, but this shovel does have issues with it. Notice again that it's not welded here. So size is okay. At least the handle gets longer. So we've got okay size. The weight is super lightweight. I don't trust this shovel just because of how lightweight it is. The durability, is this going to be dur durable? And then what's the function? So as you're taking it apart, you'll notice this. Now this feature is quite common on many makes of shovels. And what I've noticed is when people go to put them together in an avalanche rescue is that it falls sometimes inside. Once it's inside, you now no longer have a shovel with a handle that you can use and you're kind of spent fishing it outside of the, outside of, this, you're taking your gloves off. Sometimes it falls to the bottom. It's just a bad design and it seems like it's stuck around for a long time. Some of the new shovels are moving away from it, but this was common in pretty much most shovels five, 10 years ago. And I just don't like it because we can get away from it. Okay, so that's that for shovels on what not to look for. And now I'm gonna move on to an excellent shovel. This is the Black Diamond EVAC 7. This shovel is the best shovel that I have seen out there. If you have one you think is better, let us know in the comments. This shovel, I love. The reason is, look at this bomber handle. Let's start off at the top. So handle, excellent. You can hold this. So the function is great. The purpose of this shovel is to move snow in the backcountry. Size wise, this is a perfect size. I find that the nine, you can see EVAC seven here. I find the EVAC nine was too big. I'm a smaller guy for me. You don't want a shovel that's oversized because then you get tired while you're shoveling the snow. And I found the nine was just a bit too big. Okay, yeah, you're a bigger guy. Maybe move up to the nine, but this seven was is awesome size wise. 
Okay, weight, it's, it's perfect. It's not too heavy. It's not too light. And then the durability of it. See how this is fused here? This is a durable shovel, awesome handle on the top. All of the connectors, it's not wiggling around a whole bunch. This is a nice solid shovel that I'm gonna trust to move snow. We're gonna move and look at this clip. See the clip? It does not fall inside. That is key here, it does not fall inside. We love that, clips in easy. You can make it smaller and it unclips from inside of your backpack to store away quite easily. Even if you got a smaller pack, you can actually slide this in to give yourself a bit more size on there. And then there it is clipping. So next feature we have is this shovel turns into a hoe. There's a lot of hoe shovels on the market. What I like about this one is how easy, how easily it switches over. So in and out and you're easily switching it over clips on in, dunk. and now you've got hoe. So what's the point in a hoe? So hoes can effectively move snow like this and moves it quickly. Avalanche debris is hard and in a rescue, it's not ideal to be at the front digging in hoe mode. It's not gonna work very well. So you keep this at the back to move snow. But where I find this most effective is digging snow profiles. This design really moves snow quickly in soft snow. So you got your long handle and you can just really hammer it moving snow quickly. Helps in the back as well when you form your V. People at the back who have this can easily move the snow. So it's great. So avalanche debris is hard. So that is why we want to have a very durable shovel that's purpose is to move snow. And when you go to the, to the blade here, check out how sharp that is. It's nice and sharp and it kind of bevels in and creates this point. And I've found that shoveling in really hard, I've trained in avalanche debris with this shovel. You can see it's been used a whole bunch and it really chops out the snow quite well. It effectively goes into the snow and you can chop it to make your blocks and then move the snow in behind you. So again, summary, Shovels 101. The purpose of a shovel is to move snow. You want a solid shovel that is reasonable size. You don't want it to be too lightweight. The durability factor, we want a nice made shovel that's durable, that has good connection points, is fused across the back. And the functionality, it's awesome to have a hoe. It's not 100% needed, but it's great to have that hoe option on it you want it to get smaller and bigger another nice function look at it's for carrying it it gets smaller that's great so i'm judson from kootenai backcountry guides if you're looking to take an avalanche course learn about avalanche rescue and how to put these shovels into practice come check us out at kootenaibackcountryguides.com if you wanna check out individual shovel reviews or all things backcountry, head on over to backcountryskiingcanada.com and check them out. And I can't wait to see you in the backcountry this winter.